it's time we go back and revisit the fascinating world of Gen X slang. You know, a little lighter take on things today and how this language shaped our generation. Because I tell you, it was quite different when you get into the lexicon of the Gen X language and how it evolved in the late 80s and early 90s. I mean, the late 80s and early 90s, when a lot of us were in the heart of our teens, I mean, that time of the flannel shirts, the Walkmans, scrunchies, I mean, these things all ruled the day. It also birthed linguistic revolution that echoed the rebellious spirit that we carried. I mean, this era of slang wasn't just a language. It was a vibrant, audacious subculture that definitely transcended the traditional vocabulary and left an indelible mark on today's society. As if the ultimate expression of disbelief, it became the emblem of dismissing something as utterly improbable or preposterous. I mean, as if encapsulated an entire attitude implying... No way, not in this reality. And that brings me to number two. All that in a bag of chips. I mean, that was self-confidence on steroids, really. I mean, the phrase didn't merely signify your self-assurance. It oozed confidence with such a side of swagger that it meant being extraordinary, exceptional, or simply having it all. Nobody was better. I aced that test because I'm all that in a bag of chips. Every woman wants me because I'm all that in a bag of chips. Every guy drools after me because I'm all that in a bag of chips. I mean, talk to the hand. It was a short, sweet, complete sassy shutdown. I mean, it was used when faced with the unwanted opinions or sheer nonsense. I mean, Xers whipped that classic line out just immediately, right away. Now, majority of it was used by the women at the time. It wasn't so much as used by guys. But I mean, it was the... Shut down the epitome of dismissal. That sassy hand gesture, I mean, it was coupled with the declaration, talk to the hand because the face ain't listening. And that was it. You were shut down. And that brings me to number four, psych. The playful way that you revealed a joke. That you, you, It was a punchline all in itself, right? I mean, let me picture this. I mean, you're about to reveal a truth bomb and then just for kicks, you drop a psych. And I mean, it was the ultimate gotcha. I mean, it was letting your friends in on the joke after briefly leading them down that different path. Like you were going to reveal something serious and you were telling a story, but here it was all BS. It was a crock. It was a lie. And you'd be like, psych. And you knew you had them because they'd all be like, oh, got me. The very classic rad. A catch all that was for everything that was awesome. Anything that was out there that was cool. It, it was rad. Rad was the go-to adjective. It was encompassing anything from a killer skateboard trick to mind-blowing concerts. I mean, it itself was the epitome of cool in the 80s, specifically. And it rolled on into the 90s, no problem. I mean, it was coolness with complete effortless enthusiasm. Everybody used it, and it became overused, quite frankly. And then you had, boo yeah. I mean, there you go. I mean, if you were triumphant in something, that was the explanation. You were, booyah, got it. You know, you were feeling victorious. I mean, it was like a battle cry, whether you'd aced a test or you triumphed in a debate or you got that shot from the three point line or you caught the pass that was just almost impossible, but you'd catch that, you'd get picked yourself up and you'd be like, booyah, got it. You know, and it was an exhilarating sense of success. Just bam. And then we had chillax. The art of relaxation and calmness. I mean, why chill or relax when you can do both? I mean, we, we were the epic out. That was part of the reason that we were also at one time referred to as the slacker generation. Because we had chillax. You could chill and relax at the same time because they weren't the same. People now are like, just chill, relax. No, 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 no. You chillaxed. It was doing both simultaneously. I mean, it was the perfect fusion, capturing that essence of unwinding with style. You know, it was cool. You chillaxed. You had coolness when you did this, when you sat back and literally did nothing. And now we're at eight. Whatever. The mastery of indifference, I tell you. I mean, this word wasn't just dismissive. It was an art form if it was delivered properly. Like, whatever or whatever you put that pause in that little little emphasis in between there you'd be like whatever conveyed non it whatever 
definitely it was it was shrugging off of drama or disagreements it was a complete air of unconcerned coolness about everything that was going on i mean you had the if you were annoyed with somebody like whatever and you'd walk away but if you were just you had that coolness about it and you had enough you'd just be like huh, whatever and you turn around and you would stroll off into the sunset but now we're at dope and no i don't mean drugs or anything like that in the 90s i mean dope it wasn't a substance you used it was praise it was a high praise i mean it described anything that you considered exceptional or amazing or downright impressive you know it slowly started replacing rad then you know from a sick beat to that stellar outfit i mean it was dope it was top notch it was cool and now last but not least was or what's up was you know, I hated it. The Budweiser commercial ruined it. Everybody did it, and it was the commercials. So that was the '90s. That was that was the end. That was the ridiculousness. That was the bleed in of the early millennials tying into the Gen X generation and bringing that to fruition. I really don't like it. You know, but it was a it was a greeting and an icebreaker, right? I mean, you didn't have to worry about the formalities. You just be like, "What's up." It was the informal, laid-back way to say hello. And it wasn't just a question. It was an invitation to start a conversation. Because you'd walk up to someone you never met, and you would just kind of be like, what's up? And they'd just be like, sup? You know, and they would go about their merry way. But it got twisted in that damn Bud Light commercial with them frogs. And then you had the phone call ones, and oh, it was ridiculous. I'd had enough. It was over. It was too much. It was done. We didn't need it anymore. And there we have it. Gen X slang just wasn't a collection of words. It was a cultural phenomenon that defined an entire generation. I mean, we, we lived for our slang and trying to create new ones at times. It was definitely our way to rebel against conformity and express our individuality. A lot of it was based on the fact that we were outside the system. We didn't care. An entire generation that just did not belong. And it solidified our unique identity in an ever-changing world by having our own language and our own expressions. Now, yes, other generations do it too, and younger generations do it as well, but we do find that most generations just repurpose previous slang. And that's where you get the confusion between generations when they start using slang. Now, I get it. While my take on this and my view, it might seem a little dated, and yes, but a lot of these expressions do continue to linger around. I mean, they occasionally resurface in nostalgic conversations, but they also make a comeback in the modern jargon of the younger generations. I mean, the 80s and 90s, I mean, they, they come and they went, but the slang, it remains timeless relic, something that just will always be there and continue to resurface. I mean, it continues to influence language and pop culture even today. There, now, could that be that because a lot of us in our group are the ones writing a lot of the things for movies and TV and stuff now? So we throw in what we know and what was from our time because of that nostalgic flavor? I don't know. Anyway, this is Drac saying until next time, I whack my hand on that mic again and again. But I'll talk to y'all later and I'll see you next time and peace out, everyone.